Assalamualaikum viewers. Uh, today I am going to introduce you with a very important and helpful book uh, to practice you for O level English. Uh, it's uh, Oxford Progressive Book Nine. I'm going to read a sample story in front of you, and we'll be solving it, inshallah. And we'll see the technique to read it and to solve a comprehension passage. And with this, you will be, uh, in addition, knowing the format of a story writing, which is going to help you for your paper one. So before we move on to the reading, I would request you to please subscribe my channel and. Um, Please like and share it with your fellows. Oxford Progressive Book is a book like this. You can see it's a book which is actually endorsed fully by the full syllabus of Cambridge. So I'm sure that you can easily find this book. It's easily available and. Uh, there is another book after this, which is Oxford Progressive Book 10. This gives you a very good understanding and practice of uh, doing comprehension. Now it is divided into units. Unit 1 is snake. And under this, all the things included are having the same topic. You can see the content page is going in front of you. The titles are seen by you. Now we are going to there are actually 10 units in it now we are going to look at the first unit the title is snake now the first story is actually a fiction story and you know that fiction story is a one which is a made up story the story's name is snake and it's uh, an african setting story the main character is alu look at the beginning of the story quite catchy alu hastened her steps so, uh, unlike our start, the writer has given a very catchy beginning so that the reader's attention is taken. She felt nervous and panicky, short sentences for effect are given. So, the whole story is a mixture of different types of sentences, short sentences, long sentences. So, this shows that how she is moving. But look at this that the writer tells us about the characters in the second paragraph so she has left her baby a coat who is seven months old and she has left oma who is two years old and uh, with oma there is anyango anyango is a little nurse a caretaker for her baby who is seven years old so Look at this, that the characters are very nicely described in this. Now she senses that some misfortune has happened on her children. How? Because she can see that the people are gathered around her hut and she is now panicky, she is nervous, she hastened her steps but she feels that the distance is, the distance is decreasing rather than increasing. This is a very beautiful um, description given by the writer now her knees went weak and numb so she, because of the nervousness she is unable to move she thinks that what could happen with her children so you see that these two paragraphs are full of um, full of suspense even you don't know what has happened now look at the beautiful combination of sentences short sentences for effect and the long sentences now Alu is still unable to reach her house because she is quite away and there is a little river as well in the bath. Now she can hear the voices of the people as well and now she makes out some voices and she feels that the people are mourning. Mourning are the people when people uh, are uh, gathered when somebody has died. So. When she reaches there, she asks that what has happened to my baby. She could ask it louder but because of the nervousness, because of the fear of what has happened, she could only whisper. This is quite natural description. 
uh, look at how a uh, nicely writer is describing it so reading each and every line will not be possible for you you can go through it so now she finds that the her furniture is in shambled condition which she left in its condition a man told her that there is a snake who entered in her house and the snake is in the in the room where the baby is look at the words used for writer now look at the word hypnotized she is now hypnotized to listen this and now what happens that she becomes quite angry she starts flashing out at the people that they are so coward that they did not save her baby and saying this she herself moves on to the gate of the to the door of the hut but when she looks inside and she cast a glance on the huge mighty snake she herself becomes numb look at the look at the the word the way the writer is not repeating the words hypnotize the word showing motionlessness numb is the word which is showing that you are unable to move then now she finds that the snake has raised its head and the baby is also there so the baby of course is going peacefully but this is quite unbelievable by alu and she is now feeling a numbness in her cell she finds that the baby is all right the baby is still breathing so you can find that how nicely the things are described the, the setting is described uh, then the feelings of alu are described and uh, then quite naturally uh, the reaction of alu that she is unable to speak louder but as she is a mother she cannot leave her baby in this dangerous situation the people can uh, not dare to go inside but she is a mother she will have to save her baby and suddenly the love of her baby overcame her and she thought of gathering up courage and moving in the hut to save her baby and this was a time when the snake was descending down taken up by her so she quickly ran inside and she gathered the baby in her arms and within minute she was out in her yard with her baby so uh, if you just look at this i gave you only 1 minute this is what she senses that perhaps the time the snake is taking in descending is given to her to save her baby so she takes her baby in her arm and then comes out safely so very beautifully very nicely the story uh, wraps around a very uh, simple and a very uh, common day matter but look at the art of the writer that how nicely he describes it and if you just count it it's more than 1000 words of the story i'm sure and see that nothing much has happened so this is how we should shape our stories focusing more on description making it more natural now let's have a look on the questions uh in first question you have to write three ways in which alu felt alarmed and frightened then you have to tell that who are anyango oma and akod so i'm sure that in, we can easily uh, answer these two questions you can describe that who these characters are who is anyango who is oma and akod and please uh, be very simple and exact in your answer don't go for extra details and look at the tense of the question and accordingly give the answer now question number 3 tells us why alu was so sure that something wrong has happened with her baby what made her so sure question number 4 again demands further details what exactly happened while alu was out so you have to tell the whole detail that what has happened and then why did alu lay shout why did she shout to the people 
you are going to select five abstract noun or adjectives to describe how alu felt and you are going to explain that how alu showed these qualities in herself and uh, you are going to explain why alu had only few seconds to save her baby i am sure that you are going to give a thorough reading to this and you are going to come up with good answers well shaped answers and correct and please see to the tense of the question before answering now look at these uh, this word bank uh, they can be taken as a vocabulary development for you and you can like use them in your sentences the next question is silent b are going to tell about the uh, about some words where b is not uh, loudly pronounced like num b is silent numbness b is silent here so going to write few such where the b is silent so i'm sure that uh, you have had a good idea about this particular story snake and you are going to uh, read it and make yourself uh, better not only in attempting comprehension question but writing a story as well so this reading having is having a double purpose showing you an ideal or model story and helping you to practice comprehension allah hafiz take care